This is Chris. This is Chelsea. And this is Ale and Ada. Episode one. So one. This is our channel where we talk about what we're stitching and what we're drinking. So why did we pick Ale and Ada? Because it combines two of our hobbies. Because yeah. one's a real hobby and the other one is what we do while we do the hobby. <laughs> Yeah, so we enjoy trying new drinks, new beers, especially like local stuff when it's available to us. Um, and we also really have come to love cross stitch. Mm -hmm. So we decided that we would make a channel talking about two of our favorite things to do together. Mm -hmm. And started about a year ago mm -hmm. when we started hanging out with some friends on Friday nights and started stitching with them. Yeah, so we're good friends with Kia and Nathan, or Kia and Tech Guy, over at uh, Kia B. Uh, we've been friends with them since high school, actually. Um, we went to the same elementary school, middle school and high school, but we became friends with them in high school um, and have, in the past couple of years, reconnected more over homeschooling our kids, um, and our paths just kept crossing, and then we started cross-stitching together. And now we go over basically every Friday night unless we're camping or um, unless somebody has something going on. Um, and we sit around and we stitch and we eat a lot of good food and uh, we connect and fellowship and it's awesome. So we thought we would um, join the floss tube world and hopefully meet more of you that they've gotten to connect with and they've told us about that we're really excited to connect with. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I keep looking down, but we're, I'm minding the dog. He's We have a very pet. needy basset hound mm -hmm. named Bowser. Yes. Um, and he thinks he's a child. He's named after the Koopa. Yeah. Uh, speaking of children, we have two. Mm -hmm. um, and they're very best friends with Kia and Nathan's three kids, um, which is another reason we love going to see them because our kids like each other. So it makes it really easy to hang out and stitch when our kids are happy to be there as well. So, what you drinking? This is Three Floyds Brewing Company Space Station Middle Finger. That's it. That, I'm sorry. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're from Munster, Indiana. Mm -hmm. It is an American Pale Ale, 6%. And I got that from the net because I cannot find it on the label. And it's good. It's nice. It's very, very good beer. I yeah. mean, if people want to get really weird, not weird, but like nerdy into it, we can talk about that stuff, but I don't, I don't know. I just, you drink, if you like it, then you can drink it. Yeah. Drink what you like, whether it's Budweiser or Coors or local craft stuff. Drink mm -hmm. what you like. Mm-hmm. We like a little bit of all of it. Yeah. But tonight, uh, tis the season for pumpkin. Is that going to focus? Maybe. You can read it. Yeah, it's Shipyard Brewing Company Pumpkin Head out of uh, Rochester, New York. I've had this one before. I, I think we consistently we buy it every year. It's, it's pretty solid. It's, it's solid. It's not like crazy. Some of them are like really high. Like there's one that they make another one that's really good. It's like 9%. And it's very, very good. But it's like a special... This yeah. one's like half that, but it this, still has a lot of good yeah. flavor. And this is 4.5% alcohol by volume. So it means that I can have one on a weeknight and then go to bed and it's not a problem. Like I'm not feeling dizzy or lightheaded after drinking one beer. Um, it's not overly, um, it's not super pumpkin spice. No, it's good. Um, it just tastes like fallish. So. Yeah, it's a solid fall beer. I know we're jumping ship a little bit. It's still September. Um, they released it. But they released it's it. It's in the store. I also really like shipyard stuff because, I mean, come on. I'm really into pirates. So, and our neighborhood, see, um, the Headless Horseman. Is really big in Halloween. Our neighborhood like lives and breathes Halloween, especially um, Headless Horsemen. 
the legend of Sleepy Hollow. So we're into it. Correct. Yeah. So we're looking forward to making more videos, to um, hearing from you guys, like, what do you like to drink? Um, mm -hmm. What do you, like, what is your beverage of choice while you're stitching, if you have one at all? Um, we're also big coffee people, but mm -hmm. I don't... But it's 7 o'clock. We're not drinking coffee right now. I also don't trust myself enough to stitch near coffee. I can just... I... I can see myself spilling coffee all over my stitching. I don't know. I just, I, I know a lot of you do it. I've seen you guys talk about it. Like, I can't remember. I'm sorry if you see this. Please tell me in the comments if this was you. Um, somebody posted that they always have a coffee project. Like, this is what I stitch in the morning with my coffee. And I think that's a super cool idea. Um, especially, like, if it's a coffee themed piece, but I just don't trust myself. I would do coffee stitching. Oh, totally. I totally would, but I just don't think I could do it while drinking coffee. But um, I thought we would throw out some names of floss tubers that we really sure. enjoy watching that have kind of inspired us to um, help us like decide to go ahead and try this out. So obviously Kia and Nathan, um, they're, they're the OG for us. Um, but also Pam and Steph just mm -hmm. keep stitching. It was super cool that, um, when they visited Kia and Nathan last fall before COVID and everything, yeah, they came Fine. around for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and we got to meet them and they're fabulous. Loved them, uh, um, in person more than I love them on floss tube. So they're just really genuine people. So they were really cool to actually get to connect with them because by the time we met them. I'd already been watching their floss tube for months. Um, also, hello from Liz Matthews. Um, one, she I, watches way more than I do. I, I yeah. don't. I don't watch as much. So but, I'm a stay at home homeschool I, I do mom. watch, but I'm yeah, I'm not here as much or as often. Yeah, I often watch while he's at work, or I'll watch floss tube mm -hmm. while I'm doing my chores during the day. Like on my phone, I'll prop it up while I'm washing dishes. So he doesn't get to do that, but um, sorry the clicky, yeah, sorry. it's our dog's paws. Um, but yeah, hello from Liz Matthews. I really love her designs. I love her mother, Kathy Barrick's designs. I have not stitched any of it yet. I'm hoping to change that by the end of the year, um, especially since she just released a Hocus Pocus design and it's simple and Mm. gorgeous um seen you haven't seen it i don't think so yeah i showed it to you okay. it's um seen it. he's seen it and then the other one is the sleepy hollow i like piece. the sleepy hollow one oh, it's so good it's the perfect balance between like cute halloween and spooky halloween it's really good and i really want it to be on our wall um so i love watching her floss tube um, and following her on Instagram. And then we like watching the Stitch Shire, mm -hmm. Koi and Sarah, the Lord and Lady. Um, and Heather, um, I think has been on two episodes so far that we've seen. Um, we've also ordered some of their, some of the project bags from the Crafter Emporium um, after watching mm -hmm. their floss tube. I have one. Long. Yeah, we, we have two. I have one right beside me. And then I don't know if you've ever watched Jen from Stitching in the Bluegrass, but I really like watching her. My whole family is from Kentucky. Growing up, I like, kind of like split my time between Kentucky and Indiana. Um, and Jen is obviously from Stitching in the Bluegrass. She lives in the Louisville area, from what I understand. Okay. And her accent just makes me, it just sounds like home to me. Um, and I don't know, I like watching her and I follow her on Instagram too. Is there anybody that you can think of that? Not, I don't, I, like I said, I mean, I, I watch it, but you are much more of the watcher. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll get better at this, like finding the flow and mm -hmm. everything, but. Um, this is also the first episode, so it's like, 
just intro and, you know. Yeah. Um, and feel free, if you, like, have questions for us that you want us to talk about, leave them in the comments. Like, we'll take all the help we can get in deciding what to talk about in future episodes. But yep. um, I thought that we should just jump into, we're, we're going to show you our whips, like what we're currently working on. Um, and then because this is our first floss tube, we thought we pulled out some of our older stuff from, mm. you know, some of it goes all the way back to when we first started stitching. Mm. Um, I'll show you the backs. I'm not showing you my back. I'll show you. I'll show you the backs. Um, so previous finishes, and then we'll talk about our plans. Yeah. So do you want to start with your whips? I only have two, right? I think. Two or I think one? So. Technically two. Okay, go for this it. This is still. No, I can't find it. Oh, two. Yeah, two. Two. Okay. The first one. We'll do this one first. This is the. Oh gosh, I'm not organized. This is the Bittersweet Trio. You you hold it up. Yeah, Bittersweet by... Trio by Waxing Moon Designs. He's currently We're doing that one. Working on crow. One. And that's because I I like the crow. I mean I like they're all good, but yeah. the crow has different I've done a crow. We'll we'll talk about the crow. We ordered these on Etsy from Jen's stitching. Niche. Jen stitching niche. We'll we'll link any Etsy shops or floss tube channels that we talk about. We'll try and link below. But um, if we lose one, if we forget it, um, put it in the comments and I'll try and Fix remedy it. that. But that's where we bought this chart. That's it. <laughs> it's a pumpkin. Or it's a start. It's a start. Um, what fabric did um, you? It is. Joblin 28 count Queen Anne's lace is the color. Mm -hmm. It's the first thing I've done on not 14 count and not Ada and not Ada. And, and I was, I just learned kind of the difference between even weave and uneven weave or linen or yeah, linen. You can correct me. Yeah. So that's what we're doing on that one. Yeah. Well, what about your little guy? Tell him about that's your my guy. Little guy. I made him. Oh, His needle the miter. Yep. You will see this. I don't. So in general, I like the fall stuff and I like gaming, board gaming, like console gaming, eight bit stuff. So it's mostly, it's mostly eight bit stuff. This is this. And then, and then my, my other crow project and I've done one, one wintry thing that we didn't finish. So it's mostly fallish stuff and eight bitish stuff. That's like the best. That's my favorite. Yeah. So that's what you're going to see. Um, but, oh, but I made, that's why we made a little link there. Mm -hmm. Yep. I got him at target. Yeah. And modified him. Uh, what's your other whip? This one right here. It's, it's nerdy. It's eight bitty. So, for those of you who don't know, this will be fairly recognizable for people who do know. This is from the Final Fantasy series, Final Fantasy 1. This is, um, I tried to, so we actually bought these. These are also from Etsy shop. Etsy. Help mm -hmm. me. You're going to have to help me with a lot of this because you're better at this than I am. Uh, we ordered the tiny, tiny Final Fantasy from Nova Turient Heart 2017, Jennifer Kelly. Yep. Um, we'll find her shop and we'll link it. Yep. Um, she had a lot of like that kind of stuff, but he... But she has a pattern uh -huh. for each of the... Uh, it's just a pattern for each of the beginning characters. And so what I was trying to do, and this is a gift actually for somebody that doesn't know yet, so they'll find out later. But this is how they kind of look in game. And I have... And I'm just free. I mean, I'm, I'm using the pattern, but I'm kind of just free stitching the rest of yeah. it. Is that a thing? And it's I'm gonna not put, a chart. You're just. It's using not a chart. I'm just using these, and then we're gonna add names and some other stuff to the side that would be reminiscent for this person. Um, and maybe a border. Maybe a border. Yeah, because you grew up playing this game. Yes. Right. This is very important, nostalgically speaking. So 
And it looks so good on black. So I've done, this is, this is the most recent mm -hmm. rework of this, and that's what it would look like, right? Because the screen is black on the game. But I've done it on this oatmeal. So, the so, so these are, I don't think I have everybody here. I think I have everybody here. Well, hold on. Let me show my whips. Oh, okay. This and then you'll get to show past previous finishes. Okay, those are whips. So those are your two whips. That's it. That's, That's all. all I'm doing. Right all he's now. doing right now. I have a few more whips, but nothing crazy. Um, I don't like to have a lot. He, up until what? Yesterday. Yesterday. Two, two or days like, ago. Yeah. He was a monogamous Friday. stitcher. And Sunday. Yeah. This weekend. This last weekend. Yeah, Labor Day weekend was... He started a piece before he finished his other one, but you also mm -hmm. have only done one big piece, which, mm -hmm. um, but I, I am kind of playing around with having multiple whips. I'm not finding a good balance yet, but I, I kind of like being able to switch around when I get bored of something. Um, so I have a couple right now. Um, so this is one of things. my one of my necessary. bags from the Crafter Emporium. I love it. Okay. So this this was actually the first chart I purchased mm. that was not on Etsy. Um, yep. I got it from a needlework shop in Zionsville, which unfortunately has closed its doors due to COVID. And so um the shop that I got this from is no longer um it's no longer open unfortunately but it is a heart in hand mm -hmm. chart called old blue eyes that's what it looks like um so this was my first foray out of Ada so it's not perfect um, this is what I have so far. So I have all the words and I definitely know I've made a couple mistakes, but, um, it's nothing that I'm worried enough about to redo. Um, this is a 28 count McKinney, mm, right? I think so. Kia, um, she's funny like this. I'm, we're over at her house on a Friday I'm like, oh, I'm going to start this tonight. And I had like an, I bought Ada with it when I bought the chart um, that I had them cut for me to size. And she was like, let's try you on 28 count even weave. I have a really pretty bikini that'll work for that. And she surged it for me and cut it for me and helped help me understand what it meant to like go over two strands and everything and didn't laugh at me when I went cross-eyed. Um, but yeah, this is the first thing I have attempted not on like a like an Ada. So I have, I mean, if you look at the chart, I have to the still do... The snowman. Yeah, I have got to stitch the snowman and the two little the animal VR. guys. Um, it The chart came with these buttons. I'm not, I'm not convinced that I'm going to put the buttons on. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have them if I want to put them on and then I actually, I don't think I'm going to do that little zigzag down there. It's cute on the chart, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it as much. I kind of like it without it. Um, the only reason I've skipped it so far is because I'm missing the the floss color that I need for that bottom um, border. But I'm gonna stitch everything. I'm gonna stitch the snowman and the little woodland creatures and see if I like it. And if I like it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it done. Mm -hmm. Oh, and so check out that tree. I, uh, I messed that tree up, can you see? Like how off. Thankfully, little... if you just glance at it, you can't tell. But I know it's there. 
So I've got that going on. Can you set that over there for me? Mm -hmm. um, my second whip that I'm gonna show, I have a few other that I wouldn't call them whips. I have not touched them recently. I would call them more abandoned for the time being. Um, but if I pick them back up, I'll show them as a whip. But um, the other one that I've touched very recently, like within the last week, um, is this beauty from Heartstring oh, yeah. Samplery, um, Baby It's Cold Outside. So this one, the called for is, picture this plus 36 count ale. I started this in March. This is and I was 14 count. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It looks like 14 count. I was not ready to try 36 count. Um, that might be 18, might count. Be 18 count. I think it's 18. Yeah, because if it's called 15. for is 36, I, I think, it's I'm pretty smaller. sure Steph from Just Keep Stitching mm -hmm. picked this fabric out for me. Um, sure. Yeah, sure. Picked this fabric out for me in back in March and said that she thought it would work really well on, on this for me since I was wary. Um, so I'm not using the called for fabric, but I am using the called for floss. And this was my first attempt at anything like over dyed. Um, and, about my floss. Hmm? Everything I do is called for, for the most part. Yeah. So far, really, the Except only stuff the you've stitched it, uh, has been DMC. Right, but I didn't do anything different. It's all... Yeah. But that's the point of the 8-bit stuff is, like, it needs to look like... It needs to look like the game. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but as you can see, my stitches... Um, I'm practicing. I'm getting consistent. Um, but so you can see where I started up here versus like the change. Um, and this is very slow going for me because honestly, this is, um, this one's a little hard for me to stitch, like not hard, difficult, but this, I'm sure a lot of, you know, this is a sow in honor of Leanne from Lost in Floss who passed away, um, in, February, I believe. Um, and unfortunately I, um, never got to connect with her before she passed away, but Kia and Nathan did. And they just told me about how beautiful a person she was and how missed she's going to be. And I, I wanted to do, um, I wanted to do this stitch along in honor of her. And, um, along with all, all my friends who were mourning her loss, um, and this, it just reminds me, thinking about Barb going through losing Leanne just reminds me, I've lost a sister. Um, and so mm -hmm. when COVID started and all that stress, um, it was just a little too much for me to have a piece that was about grief. So I walked away for a little Plus, while. that's like your favorite. It's my non, favorite non-worship non 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 him non christian no. song, or christmas christmas song song no. so i love that song and i really do love the piece um so i picked it back up um all i had previously was like this a little bit of the roof and like a little bit here so all this is new um so that's my second whip and then my third whip, I'm going to have a drink before I go into this. I, I did it, guys. I decided I was going to stitch Coming to America. I'm sorry. I'm like, mm. um, and I was huh, late to the boat. Uh, okay, I thought it was funny. Um, I did not pre-order this. It was not on my radar. I knew that Brenda Gervais, um, who is with Thy Needle and Thread, um, I knew that she had done, designed this beautiful um, piece in honor of the women who crossed on the Mayflower 400 years ago. 
I knew a lot of people were excited about it. I knew Kia was excited about it. Honestly, I thought it was out of my league. Um, so I did not pre-order it. But then I saw Keepsakes, mm -hmm. um, an LNS in Cincinnati that we've actually gotten to go visit once. Um, I saw them post about it, that there were a couple spare boxes. And I called the shop and I got on kind of like a waiting list. Somebody who did a pre-order didn't want it anymore for whatever reason, and I got it. Um, and it comes in this beautiful box. Um, feel free to fast forward if you don't want to have any surprises spoiled because there was a surprise chart in here um, that I've not started stitching. So there's, mm -hmm. so I think it's, it's like six and a quarter, I think by 21 when, I don't want to take it out of here, when all mm -hmm. is said and done. Um, you have extra fabric here. Yes, mm -hmm. because I have a fat quarter. Steph explained right, this. Right, right, right. It was mm -hmm. cheaper to, for yeah. me to get the fat quarter than to yeah. a custom cut. Yeah, but it just looks like. It looks like. like yeah. Ooh. It's just the half. Yeah. So Pretty this much. is the called for, except uh, the model is stitched on 40 count. I am stitching it on a 36 count because that was all I could be convinced to try. And this is linen. I've never tried linen before. Um, it's going okay. The, I started on Sunday, like everybody else. Um, okay. While yeah. you're talking. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I started it on Sunday, which September 6th was the day that the Mayflower left uh, Plymouth, England. Um, and it just lines up. We're teaching, we homeschool our mm -hmm. kids. And we're talking about yeah. that the voyage to Plymouth has come up. Yeah. So um, it was just perfect timing for us, um, for me, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, so I started it on the 6th. The idea is that the Mayflower voyage took 66 days. So the idea is that you would stitch this. So you would get done November 9th, which is the day that they um, found land, yeah. Plymouth Colony. Um, I knew from the get-go that this being my first try at a 36 count linen, and it's stitched um, one thread over two. So Kia even had to teach me how to do one mm -hmm. thread. Um, I, I never, I never planned that I would finish this in 66 days. My plan is though that I will stitch on it every day for 66 days and I'll see how far that gets me. I know that, um, I think Brenda Gervais, um, Calcu like said that if you stitch about mm. two an average of 250 stitches a day and you hit you'll finish on mm -hmm. time that's for me is two and a half hours of stitching a day because i only stitch about 100 stitches an hour and that's if i don't make a mistake i'm new enough that i still make mistakes quite often that mm. need remedy I don't mind that I make mistakes, but I want to fix them. And I'm not going to stitch any faster than I need to because I'll just make more mistakes and get frustrated. So um, slow and steady wins the race, friends. I will finish it. Um, but this is, we're filming this on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that's, this is what, five this days? Is the, yeah. Yeah. Well, this will be, this is the sixth. So this is the fifth day right because yeah right yeah Four, yeah so to be honest day one i i ripped out more than i stitched because mm -hmm. i kept finding myself a half stitch off and we were with kia and nathan and i think at one point i said i think i've bitten off more than i can chew friends um, and I was just getting very disheartened because every time I was showing this piece to Kia and I was like, will you check this for me? I was a half stitch off like four times, I think. Um, but I kept at it. I figured it out. 
Um, there's one mistake that I'm leaving and I've adjusted um, that you'll probably be able to see when I'm done, but I don't really mind. But so far, my favorite thing, honestly, look at that anchor. Oh, I love this anchor. I don't know why I'm so into it, but um, today my progress has been all this wave. So I'm happy with it so far. I'm hoping that by the I'm hoping that by the time I'm done stitching this, I'll be a much more confident stitcher. Um, and I'll be, I won't feel like anything's out of my league. Um, and I also wanted to brag on Kia a little more because she made these floss drops on her Cricut. It's a pilgrim girl. Come on. Puritan. Puritan. Who's? I don't know. I the pilgrims Puritan. were Puritans. They were called pilgrim, pilgrims because they made a journey. Right. But they were Puritans. So fine. It's a Puritan girl. But these colors, I love. I love this. What is this? Oh, this is a DMC 355. And I love it. Um, I want it in a lipstick. But anyway, I'm working on that. And then there's a freebie chart that came with it. I have not started it. Um, I won't show it just in case somebody hasn't gotten there yet maybe but it's really cute and I might stitch it in the future just not now I think I think that's all my whips there's only like three yeah do you want to show your previous finishes yes we can do that okay I guess that's what I was getting at a while ago about them being on different so i the first thing I the first thing I did was like a little Mario kit. It's yeah. like a little Super Mario. It was a kit it's I got from. It's a small Super Mario from Super Mario World. Like it's a little, but we I don't even remember. I bought it at Joanne's. Yeah, it's just a little. I did, and I did the little. Mini it came box. with everything, and it came with a little, came with a little hoop and, mm -hmm. and everything. But then the next thing I did was these little Final Fantasy guys. The and, tiny Final Fantasy. And I did them not on black, but I did them on this oatmeal so that guy's already on here so like who each, which guy is that's the white mage white mage and so the black one the the one I, on the black ada that's got a fighter a so monk, there he is or he was called a black belt in the original uh a white mage and a black mage they they look so much better on the black they look really good on the black so yeah. the only other ones that haven't been seen are the thief there he is oh i'm sorry mic. That's a thief and a red mage. And this looks like a woman to me. Is that weird? I mean, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Most people think the white mage looks like a girl. Um, really? Yep. But I'm going to brag. I'm going to brag. I'm going to do it. Because, you know, I like, I like the backs looking real neat. I like the needles. I like the threads buried. And I don't like any... Little strands. I like as few strands hanging as I can. And here's like, here's here's one. That. Do you see that? This was like one of his first projects. And then that's Compared. the back. That's the back of the same guy. This is the back of that piece. It almost looks like the front. <laughs> I ain't showing you my backs. <laughs> yeah. Um. And that was all done on the call floor. The call floor. Yeah, all DMC. It was a, well, they were good picks because it looks pretty good. Yeah. I think it's like when you, it was really weird because when you look at the DMC, like, or you read the color, like, like, I don't know. I did I wasn't so sure that it was going to look right, but I think it looks, it looks like the game. I think so. I mean, people can tell me what they think, but it looks, it looks pretty good. Um, and then the next thing that I did, I wanted to stay with, I, I'm, I'm big into like, I mean, everybody, every gamer has franchises. They all have their franchises they like. It's Zelda, Final Fantasy. Um, that's pretty. Those are the two big ones for yeah. me. And then I have a couple like crazy like one-offs that a lot of people don't know about or that are like my favorite. But I wanted to stay with the Final Fantasy theme, and I was just trying to find some ideas 
that I could do quick or whatever. And so I looked at a bunch of, I actually charted, technically charted these, I guess. I just looked online for like pictures and patterns of different eight bit guys. And some of them are like straight up, like from the game, just like turned like almost like I, I looked at a lot of perler bead free picks and stuff like that and kind of came up and actually put them on the chart and everything. So I made some monsters. Some of them are in frames. We did a cactor. Mm. There's a glare. There's a glare. Well, they but I did, see it. and I did him different because a lot of the a lot of patterns for him, and it's all DMC. But the I picked a variegated DMC. It just has different right colors running through it because then yeah, it kind of looks. Because then it kind of looks. I didn't write down different. The DMC. I didn't write any. This one, it, it's got like different patterns because he's supposed to look like a little cactus guy. Yeah. I did I a... Think, I think this looks like a girl. I think that looks like a bow on her... Mm. It's a, it's like a spiky crown. It's like... Looks like a bow. They're like needles. She looks like a cactus shoots, girl. It shoots the needles out of its head. Um, I did a Tom Berry. I liked him. That was the one... I was most annoyed with that one uh, in terms of like... Because there's a lot of... Like, there are four... Shadow. Not even that. There's like... One, two, three... There's like four or five different reds and oranges in the lantern. And then like there's like four different browns. And I picked the D and honestly, and these ones, and so all of these, like they're not charted, so there wasn't DMC for it. I just picked, I just went and I was like, I looked at pictures and I was like, that looks like a good green. Yeah, we that looks like a good He sat basically on the floor orange. in front of all the DMC, looking back and forth between the like pictures a pic, on, like a picture on my phone and, and like what it looked like yeah and he figured but it out were easier. on his own like that one was harder and the cactuar was actually pretty easy because i was just like i'm not going to get different colors i'm just going to mm -hmm. get this one that's all whatever and it'll look different but like the these two were easier we did a, a mog and a chocobo but those are pretty easy because you could just you really could pick any color for him you could pick do chocobos come in they come colors? in yes they do they come in white black Green, blue, gold, yellow. I'm not a gamer. I feel like I'm missing one. Whatever. And then the Mog was pretty easy because it's just like pale pale blues and stuff like that. And so we just put them in some frames that we just bought at like Goodwill or something. Or whatever. Yeah. I don't I don't like spending money on frames. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um a lot. So we Every time we go into Goodwill looking for something, we always go through the frames. Mm -hmm. And if we see frames that we think uh, we can use, we snag them. I think I am going to, coming to America though, I think I'm going to send it to a framer. Yeah. So I did those. And then all I have is the crow, right? Mm-hmm. And then this one here. I like this. We were this. we were at um, Keepsakes. Keepsakes. We th they ordered this for you, right? They did, because I saw it on It was on the wall. On the wall. Quaker Crow by The Work Basket. Yep. And I did not do the call, call for DMC. No, it, well, it's not at all. It's supposed DMC. to be, or it's, sorry, I didn't do the call for floss. It's supposed to be black of some kind. Charcoal. Either, yeah, charcoal. From charcoal. Or, uh, Bell's. You yeah, help me. Bell Swap. Noir from Classic Bell Colorworks. Belle Noir. Um, that's the called for. And um, you did... I did a navy, and it's DMC because I just wanted to do it, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on floss. Um, but, but it's like a navy, and I feel bad because we... Key asked me what it was the other night, and I, I had it, but I don't remember. It's we, somewhere. We're going to get better at like writing down what fabric either. and like all that stuff, but... When we stitched most of this stuff we're showing you, we had no inclination that we were going to show anybody. But you could, I mean, I mean, and that's, that's what I thought. I was like, I could just pick one I liked. I thought the blue looked good. It's like a navy. You can hold it up. Yeah, and Kia told us that this fabric is a 14 count lamb's wool. It looks by black the on the camera. It does. It does, but it is, it's a, it's like a navy. I a very love navy. this thing. So biggest thing you've ever done, yeah? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. And it didn't take that long because it's monochrome. It's all one 
Mm-hmm. And once you once you do forty of these chevrons, you and forty of these chevrons or however many there are. There's he's just about showing 40. off his back. Well, no, yeah, I am uh, because it well it does look cool though because the way yeah. it because honestly this looks cool like the way that it's like zigzaggy right there how kind of like yeah I think it looks neat I mean the front looks neat too like it, that gets really close it's it's really really neat I like that Quaker stuff yeah I like Quaker motifs Quilty um and of. I like shaker Quaker and shaker I did mess up I messed up his leg a little bit you cannot tell no one of the legs one of the legs is supposed to be like over or st it started weird but you know yeah it looks fine i think it's so they're coming across more i don't know more grayish on the camera but oh the our, colors no our walls oh yeah but our, our walls, walls are, are blue. a blue gray um and i'm really I really think this deep navy mm -hmm. is going to look cool on our walls. Is that all the previous finishes you're going to show? That's all I have, I think. Okay. So I have a couple previous. Uh, yeah. The, all, it's all I have that I don't readily have anything on hand, like the charts on hand, and I don't want to yeah. do that. So, so um, I've. I was going to say, it's pretty much all 8-bit and board games and stuff like that. Yeah. So I have a couple previous finishes, but like he said, I have a couple that I'm not gonna show because... Um, because they're surprises? Because they're or gifts. Or you just don't have, I, I, I just don't have Or because they were a kit, a, like a little $5 kit from Joann's and I stitched it in the hoop mm -hmm. and it's, and it's, I threw, the kids have it threw the little thing away. Or right, yeah, that that too, yeah. Yeah, um, I recently, you can see right through that. Mm -hmm. I recently stitched this up real quick. It is blessed. Can I have a white piece of paper to go behind this? It is there we go? It is blessed from um, Priscilla and Chelsea. The real. Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. This was their freebie. Um, I just, I, I don't even have like anything to show you for it because I literally downloaded the PDF and charted it off and, your phone. Yeah, or whatever. Off, I stitched whatever it, it off the iPad, I think. Um, and theirs was on a chalkboard. Um, like I think a Monaco maybe. It was a chalk, it wasn't navy blue, but I did it on navy blue um, because our walls are blue. I'm very bad with details, so every time yeah. you look at me, I don't. I'll try to be better. But and I... then they had, um, there's not very many floss colors for this, but they used um, over dyed. I, I went through DMC that we had and. Like the, sorry, go ahead. Um, I just made my own DMC conversions. So I like the center of the flower. The center flower, like, like the plaid. Four colors. Yeah. It is very plaid. Yeah. This is a fun one to stitch. I think I'm just going to mount it on sticky board. And then um, I think I want to get like a little clipboard. Um, I put it on. Yeah. And then just swap it out for the seasons. But this would be perfect for like August and September when mm -hmm. we... Um, our best friends live next door and we um, we landscape our yards with them so it kind of flows. We we joke that we live on a commune. Nothing weird. Compound. But compound. compound. Nothing weird, but um, and we often have big sunflowers this time mm -hmm. of year. Um, and so when I saw that freebie, I just downloaded it and I stitched it. It took me like I think I stitched it over a day. Um, but it's super cute and I'm going to finish it eventually. The thing, the, um, project I can, if you can hear, that's the daughter's yell. watching a movie. Um, this one? Yes, this one. Um, okay. It's gonna, 
I was worried about the reflection. So this is yeah, called The Glory of the House by Stars Hollow Stitchery on Etsy. Her name is her name is Erica House. Um, I think she might have a couple floss tube videos, but um, I ordered this and a project bag um, that Chris uses from her Etsy shop. Only um, because it fit the Quaker Crow chart. And I loved this. So th the reason I purchased it and stitched it is because Chris and I um, has a last name on it. Yeah. Because Chris and I really value hospitality in our home. Um, and I really wanted to stitch it. And this was the first thing, the first stitch I ever did with a border. Um, and this is that same 14 count lamb's wool which helped, I think, because I'm pretty sure Kia gave us a huge piece of it. So you stitched your crow on it and I stitched this piece on it. Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think it's from the same, mm -hmm. the salvagens match, so. Um, but I think I stitched this over about a week. Um, I love the bird. At first, honestly, I was a little like, that is a very loud colored bird. And I thought about switching it out and like muting it, but I'm really glad I went with all the called for and just did it because I really, I really like it. I think that's it for previous finishes, isn't mm -hmm. it? I have another previous finish that's currently hanging on our wall. It's like an FFO. Um, it's a Do Hocus later. Pocus. Um, maybe I'll show it to you later, but honestly, I need to dig out the information like about where I got it yeah. um, and everything so I can show you guys. So what are your plans for when you finish? Are you going to finish the whole, tr are you going to stitch the whole trio or just the crow? I don't know. I like that. This one right here. Oh, yeah. We have others. Halloween Quaker. I've seen a lot of people doing that. But this is by, would you say Lila's? Lila's Studio. Studios. Studio. And I ordered this when I got the Waxing Moon Bittersweet Trio from uh, Jen's Stitching Niche on Etsy. So I ordered that. Are you going to do, do you want to stitch this as one piece or are you going to break it up into motifs? Uh, one piece. Oh. It's awesome. Probably. Yeah, because down here they I show. Yeah, I don't know that I'd want to, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Breaking it up. If you stitch the whole piece, I might actually stitch just a little bit because I would, I think just her. Just that witch would be a really cute ornament. Um, and also mm -hmm. this crow up here. That's yeah, a crow, like right? Crow. Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's good. I, I mean, I like the, the other one you pulled out. You find a lot of stuff. And I've been told that, uh, well, I, what did my mom say for my birthday? She thought she was going to get me some stuff. Lord of the Rings. There's some, yeah, there's some Lord of the Rings stuff maybe in the works, so. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what they are. Yeah, so that's probably going to be your next start. Maybe. It depends on, it depends on what I get. Yeah. He just had his birthday mm -hmm. um, last week, um, but we haven't been able to see his mom to celebrate birthdays. Right, for, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, my next... So coming to America is gonna take me all the way up through November or up to November. And then once the 66 days are over, mm -hmm. I may, um, I don't know if I'll keep stitching on it daily just to finish it or if I'll kind of Whatever. start rotating back through my whips more. Um, but I definitely am gonna start one, one of, those. of the, you wanna do one of them too? Sure. 
So this is uh, the Prairie Schooler. This is not an original. This is a reprint, but it's not, it's not a photocopy. It's like a legit reprint. Um, I did my research because I saw, um, I watched Liz's um, Instagram stories and then watched her most recent video where she kind of talked about um, people selling photocopies mm. of the Prairie Schooler because the Prairie Schooler is yeah. done. Old, yeah. Um, and so I, I checked with a couple people that I trusted before I like ordered this to make sure. And I, everybody that I talked to was like, no, you're good. Like that Jen is, um, she's legit. She's not going to sell you anything that you don't want. Um, and they were absolutely right. And I'm completely happy with my purchase. Um, yeah, so this is Prairie Seasons from the Prairie Schooler. It is book number 50. I liked all of them. They're pretty simple. The called for is, I'm trying to figure out what the called for fabric is and whether or not I think I'm going to use it. So this is the cover models were stitched on 28 count Zweigert summer, summer khaki cashel linen using two over two. I'll probably do called for then. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to stitch. He, he's not into winter stitching. Not like he doesn't like stitching during the winter. He hates stitching snow. Um, I just don't, yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. Yeah. Because we had, he was working on this Christmas piece. It was like a put down and walk away thing for him because he just was not enjoying it. It had a ton no. of snow. Um, I might pick it back up and finish it at some point. We'll see. So he probably won't. I like the spring one. Well, I'll let you stitch spring then. I might, depending on when I get to it, I think I'm going to stitch. I think I'm even going to stitch winter. Oh. Woo, focus. Because I love those cardinals. I don't know if they're supposed to be cardinals or if they're just red birds, but. But yes. But I'm into it. State bird of Indiana. And I'm into it. And um, multiple other states. I know. Um, but I think I'll definitely stitch winter and maybe I'll let you stitch spring and autumn and I'll do winter and summer. Mm. Um, but those are the only plans I have right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Trying to think if there's anything we left out. Because mm -mm. we don't have anything new or. In the future, whatever, we might you know have I mean. haul for I something, guess, yeah. but we don't have any of that. Well, you already now. have plans to get some stuff, so. Yeah, I have, I have a trip planned. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what I meant. I guess is that your yeah trip. Yeah. So we consider keepsakes our LNS as well, even though we're about an hour and a half away. Um, there really aren't many options around us, especially not that we have friends that we can um, visit. Talk to and yeah. Yeah. So I have plans to make it back out there um, in the coming weeks. God willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> um, but thanks for joining us for our first floss tube. This is longer than I thought mm -hmm. it would be. Yeah. It, 50 minutes hit pretty quick. Yeah. So thanks for sticking with us. Um, we don't know if we'll be here weekly or every other week. It'll probably depend, but yeah. whatever. we look forward to seeing you again. Leave us a comment. Um, give us ideas about what we should talk about or what you want to know. And, um, let us know if there are any floss tube channels that we didn't mention that you think we should check out. Great. All right. Until we meet again, have a drink. <laughs>